I want to tell you about how privatized banking and this particular strategy and system in your financial life is almost like a golden key that plugs into and amplifies every other area of your financial life. Now, I hope this is memorable for you. Privatized banking is kind of like the peanut butter to your cash flow sandwich. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, as we talk about this cash flow system in your life, you have this first level of keeping more of the money that you already make. And that's really talking about efficiency and how you reduce things like interest and taxes and opportunity cost and all those outflows that are out of your control. And if we can keep more of them, then we can increase your cash flow from the money you already make. Now, the second stage of your cash flow system is where we help you to protect and really lock down all of the assets and the cash flow that you already create so that you're not at risk of losing it. And that's by putting things like insurance and legal protection in place so that no event can come and steal the wealth that you have already created. Now in stage three, what we're building on top is this ability to create cash flow from assets. So now instead of just keeping more of the money we already make with our current income, now we're focusing on how do we acquire cash flowing assets that will build our time and money freedom. So we're not just trading time for dollars, but now our assets are working and producing for us. So right smack dab in the middle is that protection component. And that's exactly where privatized banking sits. Inside of your cash flow system, privatized banking is a portion of your protection component, but it's much more than that. It's not just protection. It also is like this golden key that plugs into every other area of your cash flow system. It's the peanut butter between keeping more of the money you already make and making more. It's that element in the middle that makes your cash flow more than just two pieces of bread, but an actual peanut butter sandwich. So why do we want to use privatized banking? It helps you in every other area. One of the ways it does this is by serving as an ideal emergency and opportunity fund. As we talk about savings and having cash available for you to use and access that's safe from risk of loss, that's liquid so you can get to it, and that's growing, we want to have a tool that allows us to do that. And there's a lot of challenges with using a typical bank savings account because it's not growing much for you. Or if we try to use a qualified plan, well, now we have challenges with accessing the money and volatility that could possibly cause that to lose value. There's many tools that are not ideal to serve as a storage tank for your money as that emergency and opportunity fund. So using the privatized banking system is an ideal way to have that savings component. It's also a way to help you be more efficient with the money you already make because you're minimizing taxes in one component. You are growing your money at a tax exempt, tax deferred rate. So as the money grows inside of your insurance contract, you're not having to pay tax on the growth of that money. And that prevents you from having additional money leaking out through taxes. Another way that it it improves the efficiency and money that you already have is it provides an alternative source of financing. One of the key elements that you need as a business owner and as a person in your financial life, because you're financing everything that's a major purchase. You either have to get a loan or pay cash. Having cash value in your privatized banking system allows you to minimize the cost and opportunity cost of paying cash or of financing. You also have the ability to not reset the compounding on your money as you do when you pay cash. You can continue to recycle and reuse that money. The way you do this is by accessing your cash value through a loan. That way, you're keeping your cash value intact, allowing it to grow and earn uninterrupted compound interest, being the bank, increasing your cash flow, and shrinking the cost of financing and the cost of using your capital. It also 
serves a protection element. It's not only an ideal estate transfer tool that can be used along with your estate planning to transfer your assets without losing very much to taxes because it passes to your heirs and that's income tax free to them. The other thing that it does is it protects your human life value. Now insurance is insurance and the reason for life insurance is to have that death benefit so that even death cannot prevent you from creating wealth. However, what we're utilizing is the cash value element of the policy and that's what's giving you all these living benefits outside of just the death benefit. So then how does it help you increase and make more money and invest in those things that are meaningful and important to you that you know and control? Well, it serves as this pool of capital, this opportunity fund that you can use to store up cash while you're waiting to invest it in other opportunities, maybe real estate or businesses or investing back into your own business to increase the value and the cash flow. All of these components are what makes privatized banking almost like a golden key that fits into the middle of your cash flow system and unlocks every other area so that you can get better returns on your liquid cash and you can have a place to build this store of capital that you can use. Hey, I hope you liked this video. If you did, click the link in the description box below for more information. And don't forget to like this video. Share your comments, questions, and feedback in the comments section below. And don't forget to hit subscribe to our YouTube channel.